Hi friends and welcome back to Storytime with Miss Madison. Today we are going to be reading another Disney classic and we are going to be reading Bambi. I really love this book. It's very near and dear to me and I really hope that you guys enjoy it too. All right, let's get started. One spring morning, there was a greatest excitement in the forest. Animals and birds hurried to welcome the new prince. His name was Bambi. He was the son of a noble stag, the great prince of the forest. When Bambi looked around, he saw happy, smiling faces. They call me Thumper, said a friendly rabbit. Bambi smiled. It wasn't long before Bambi was ready to explore the forest with his best friend, Thumper. Birds sang and fluttered over their heads. Thumper pointed at them and said, those are birds. Bambi repeated the word, bird. Then a butterfly fluttered by and Bambi called out, bird. No, said Thumper with a giggle, that's a butterfly. Bambi turned to a pretty flower and shouted, butterfly. Thumper laughed. No, he cried, that's a flower. And Bambi bent down to smell the flowers. Suddenly, a small black and white head popped up from under the petals. Flower, said Bambi again. Thumper laughed. That's not a flower. He's a little... That's all right, said the little skunk shyly. He can call me a flower if he wants to. And they all became good friends. One morning, Bambi's mother took him to a new place, the wide open meadow. You must never rush out, said Bambi's mother. There are no trees or bushes to hide us. Bambi met another fawn. Her name was Feline. Bambi and Feline became, best, became friends too. Just then, a group of stags charged across the meadow, led by the great prince. He had come to warn the deer that danger was nearby and to run towards the trees. Later that day, Bambi asked his mother what the danger had been. Man was in the forest, she told him. Summer and autumn passed, and the weather grew colder. One mor morning, Bambi woke up to find the world had turned white. Bambi's mother saw his surprise. Why, it's snow, she said. Winter has come. Bambi was amazed to find his friend Thumper sliding across an icy pond. Come on, it's all right, called Thumper. Look, the water's stiff. Bambi rushed over to join him, but he fell down on his tummy with a thud. Thumper showed Bambi how to balance on the ice. And soon the young prince was gliding gracefully across the pond. Winter was fun at first, but as time passed, there was less and less food. Soon there was nothing to eat but bark on the trees. The air felt a little warmer, and Bambi and his mother went to the meadow. There... There they hungrily ate a small patch of green grass peeking out of the snow. Suddenly, Bambi's mother looked up and went stiff. Quick, the thicket, she ordered Bambi, faster. Bambi raced along the meadow and then there was a loud bang. Faster, Bambi, faster, don't look back, his mother shouted. As he ran, there was another loud bang. Terrified, Bambi kept running toward the forest. Home at last, he turned to look for his mother. Mother, where are you? He called. There was no answer. Mother, mother, the little fawn began to cry. Just then, Bambi's father appeared. Your mother can't be with you anymore, he told Bambi gently. The great prince would now protect his son until he could look after him himself. As the months passed, Bambi grew into a fine young stag. One spring day, all the birds were twittering and snuggling. Humph, said Friend Owl to Bambi and Thumper. They're twitterpated. Nearly everybody gets twitterpated in the springtime. It's not going to happen to me, said Thumper. Me neither, Bambi agreed. Minutes later, a lovely female rabbit hopped over to Thumper. He was delighted. Twitterpated, sighed Bambi as he went along through the trees. Bambi stopped to drink at a small pond, and a soft voice said, Hello, Bambi. He turned around and saw a beautiful female deer. It was Feline, his childhood friend. Feline leaned over and gently licked Bambi's face, and he became twitterpated, too. 
The warm days of spring and summer passed, happily for Van Bambi and Feline. Early one autumn morning, Bambi was awakened by a strange smell. He left Feline sleeping in the forest and went to investigate. Bambi climbed to the top of a cliff and he could see smoke in the distance. Just then, his father came up beside him. It is man, said the great prince. He is here again. We must go deep into the forest. Hurry. Bambi rushed back to warn Feline, but he found her trapped on a cliff ledge. A pack of angry hunting dogs were snapping at her heels. As Bambi rushed at the snarling dogs, Feline managed to escape and she ran toward the river. Bambi fought off the dogs and turned to follow Feline. Suddenly he heard a loud bang and he felt a terrible pain in his shoulder and fell to the ground. Bambi was too weak to move, though he saw flames coming toward him. The forest was on fire. Get up, Bambi, a voice called out. You must get up and come with me. Bambi opened his eyes and saw his father beside him. The young prince struggled to his feet and followed his father through the burning forest. Eventually, the two stags came to a huge waterfall and jumped. Down and down, they fell into the water below. Bambi and his father waded through, waded through the water and headed toward an island. Feline, along with many other animals, had already found shelter there. Safe on the island, the forest creatures watched helplessly as the fire destroyed their homes. And then when the fire finally burned out, the animals returned to the forest. After another long, hard winter, spring arrived. The new grass and flowers grew where the fire had been, and the forest was beautiful once again. And one morning, Thumper and Flowers spread some wonderful news. Bambi and Feline had a family, and all the animals and birds came to see Feline and her two new fawns. And standing nearby was their proud father, Bambi, the new great prince of the forest. All right, friends, and that was Disney's classic, Bambi. I really like that story. It's very near and dear to me, but it gets so sad in the middle when Bambi's mom dies. And it's okay if you felt sad too. It actually really made me sad. Miss Madison had to hold in some of that emotion. And it's okay if you felt sad too. But it ended happily and Bambi had two babies and that's amazing. Anyways, that's all for today, you guys, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one.